All right, Olivia Shore, you won your first state bow. You're also the only Stuck. female in the tournament. People walking by saying stud already and in your bracket, only female. So tell me, what is it like being the only female competing here? Um, it's pretty cool. I uh, qualified my sophomore year and I wrestled against the boys at the state tournament my sophomore year. So I kind of knew what, what to expect coming in, but it's a lot different being at not the shot and steam. So it kind of feels kind of more calming. Um, a smaller school, it's not as hype. So I just came to wrestle and I'm just going to do my best. And see, how, see what I do. So when you made history two years ago as the first female to win a championship bout, how defining was that for your career as an athlete here and just getting that respect that you deserve, not just being a female, but being being an athlete competing in this tournament. Uh, it was awesome. I think that I definitely set a good, uh, a good example for the little kids. And uh, I just, I just love wrestling. So all the other awards and things that I get are just extra. I just love the sport. And a two-time women's state champ as well. I know that's not sanctioned yet, but you did have a chance to compete. You won that. Tell me, what's so different about coming from that tournament and coming to compete here? Well, like I said, it's just wrestling to me. It's all it's all pretty much the same. I just go and do what I know how to do, and then I expect the results. But being a two-time state champ for girls is pretty awesome, and I'm excited to go to college at Tiffin and wrestle with some of my teammates and just continue wrestling and do what I love to do. So I'm grateful. And you have family members wrestling here as well, right? Two brothers, if I'm not mistaken. So what is that family dynamic with wrestling like for you guys? Uh, my brothers just treat me like one of the boys. Uh, beat me up, do what they got to do, get me ready. So it's it's always been me and them, me and my brothers wrestling. So it's, I've grown up to it. And uh, my coaches are really cool. They really accept me and make me feel like one of the boys on the team. So I'm really thankful. And hopefully we can get through state title this weekend. So tell me, what is the training environment like at home? Do you guys have home gyms? How do you train at home together? I'm sure it's nice to have your brothers as practice yeah. partners. Well, my one brother, Max, he beats me up pretty bad, so I don't go with him unless I need a real beating. But um, we have our own gym. We run our own club. It's called Short Sports Club. We uh, run a, it's a peewee gym. We teach little kids how to wrestle. And we, have, uh, we wrestle every day of the week. We have school practice at the school, and then we hold just our uh, open mats at our club. So we're training every day, lifting every day. Just, the lifestyle of the rest, I guess, so it's pretty awesome. All right, and you had a sweet throw in the beginning of that match. I mean, the entire gym stopped and was in awe at that. How good did it feel to get that, and what were you feeling on him to know that you had that to go feet to back? I just knew that, well, I know going out with the boys are automatically going to be stronger than me, so I gotta, if I'm going to fire off stuff, I get, it's got to be at the beginning when I feel the strongest. And so I just knew he had his head down, and I just went for it and knew that I had to hit something big in order to be up and keep the match in my favor, so I hit it, and I thought I had him pinned, I thought I saw the shoulders down, but I ended up coming with the win, so it is what it is, but I'm excited for my next round, let's see if I can get on the podium. Overall, tell me how you're feeling, just in general, being here, because all eyes are on you, all eyes are on every match, you know, you made history once already, you've got absolutely nothing to prove to anyone here, but tell me how you're handling all that little bits of pressure. Um, I'm, I'm used to pressure a lot, I mean, I've been doing this my whole life, and it's always been all eyes on me, so uh, I'm just... I'm just thankful to be here. It's pretty awesome that there's so many people here to support me. But there also is haters, so I just got to keep my head down and keep doing what I know how to do. So the results will be when I get my medal. So we'll see. All right, Miss Olivia, you absolutely have my attention, so girl. Much. Go ahead out there and get what you deserve.